Okay, Google Groups has changed uh, in terms of the way it looks. And you can see here it says view the old version. Well, we're in, by default, the new look version. So I'll just show you how it works. I put this image in here and some text and a link. And I'll show you how you can do that in a moment. This is simply a welcome message. Now, the main purpose of the group is to for you to collaborate wherever you are, whatever time of day or night it is. And in order to, uh, to collaborate, you're going to need to be able to post what they call topics. So let's go there, click a new topic, and I'll just say here, welcome. And then we'll put in a little bit of text. My keyboard's a bit dodgy, so uh, if uh, I miss out some letters, it's not my fault. So welcome uh, for J. Let's turn that into something sensible, like from J. Uh, and then, like any other word processor, you can change the color of your font or the size of the font, whatever else. Okay, well, one of the other things we can do is to insert a picture. So if you're collecting evidence, this is a really nice feature. You can take your phone or camera out and, uh, and add a photo. Let's uh, decide, though, not to do it from one of, the folder, one of the photos we have stored. Let's do a Google image search to show you how that works. So let's put in here something like hot dog. Might get any kind of images when I do this. Let's just have a look. OK, so we've got a hot dog. And let's put in that one and select. Now that image is a little bit too big. So I'm going to just click on it. And you can see down here that I can choose the size of my image. I'll select small. And then I can actually put that image, move it about like that. I could actually delete that space there. So there we are. We have a, an image in there. Another of the things we can do is to actually just give myself some space again. What we can actually do is to highlight this and create a hyperlink. So let's go there. And I can either hyperlink to an email address. Uh, I can uh, put some text in there. And the web address, let's just put something in quickly. <clears throat> there we are, so bbc.co.uk, maybe actually I might need, bear with me, uh, BBC weather site. Now I can test that link if I want to, uh, I'm fairly confident so I won't do that now because time is short and I'll click OK and there we are, we have our link. Um, I won't test this until I've posted my comments. OK, so we have a hyperlink and we have an image. OK, and now I can click Post. And hopefully you'll be able to see what happens. OK, so there is my posting. Uh, my photos there because I put the photo in my profile. And it's really as easy as that to put an image, uh, a comment and a, and a link into your new Google group. Now, when you click on this uh, on this posting, you can see there that it's very easy simply to post a reply. So I'll do that, post a reply. I'll just write thanks. And then the other thing we can do, which is really useful, is we can share files and documents. So I'm going to now attach a file to this message. And I'm going to choose a file to upload. And here's one handy, adult literacy. I uh, don't know. Uh, why that's there, but let's put that in. And you can see that I've got a docx here. I'll just click upload. Uploads fairly quickly. And my document goes in there uh, like that. So I'll post. There we are. And you can see that uh, I said thanks. There's an attachment here which I can either view, and sometimes that doesn't work very well with Word documents. Um, it would work fine with Google Docs, but it certainly works if I click download. So you can share files, folders, PowerPoints, documents, anything you like, and at the same time progress whatever project it is that you've set your Google, which your Google group has been set up for you to collaborate with. So there we are, the new look Google groups. It's really very simple.